It's been longer than I thought it would be for me to make this next part of the main frame crate opening series. Now, as you may know by the title of the previous episode, or maybe the title of this one, I spent over 100,000 credits on crates that have main frames in them. Today, I'm going to be opening 200 golden gifts, and it's going to be awesome. Drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I appreciate everyone that's been there for me through this difficult time. I can't guarantee daily uploads at the moment because I've been ill for so long. I fell behind and it's going to take me a while to catch up. So it might be four or five videos a week for a while, but please bear with me. I'm going to make banging videos anyway, so I hope you do enjoy. We're going to open all of the crates we have. I've got two red drops. I say all the crates we have, all the golden gifts. We're leaving the golden lanterns, of course. I'll open these two. I'll open these 200 and then we'll do all the trade ups as well. So if we want to kick it off with a little titanium my octane, that'd be great. Always ask, maybe one day I'll finally receive, but Nana dies from a rare drop isn't actually that bad. And uh, yeah, we'll do the crate openings, the trade ups, 200 golden gifts. If you don't know the breakdown, ooh, I mean, that's pretty cool. If you don't know the breakdown of rarities when you open these, obviously there's five different rarities and that makes up the 100%. So the rare item is 55%. So out of 200 crates, you'd expect to get 110 rares there or thereabouts. The very rare is 28%. So 200 crates, 56 very rares or there or thereabouts. The import is 12%, so 24 per 200 crates. The exotics are 4%, so 8 per 200 crates. And the black markets are 1%, therefore 2 per 200 crates. That's roughly the breakdown. Obviously, it's highly unlikely. I'd love to know the odds of it, but it's it's within the realms of possibility to get painted Gurnots. There you go. Not where I was going with that, but a decent start. I'll probably trade them up. Let's be real, because we want to try and get mainframes and stuff. But it's not impossible to get 200 black markets uh, from 200 crates. Obviously, that would be, you know, 1% over and over and over again. So what that would be 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 200 times in a row. It's impossible. It's, it's likely, but it would never happen. You understand what I'm trying to say. But nevertheless, so far, some decent luck. An import, a painted exotic, and be... Oh! Oh my goodness, man! A Hellfire! I, I forgot that you can't get painted Hellfires in a crate. What? I mean, I was about to be gassing up the imports and painted exotics. Eight crates in, we've already had an import and exotic in a black market. That's not bad. That's not bad because, like we said, you're likely to only get two black markets in these 200. And you know what? I'm going to predict we get three. I'm feeling lucky today. I'm... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I thought it was titanium white clockwork, but with ten crates in... Right? 10 crates in, two painted exotics, and a black market. I mean, if we could replicate that, that would be unbelievable. 40 painted exotics and 20 black markets. I wouldn't mind that. That would definitely, without a doubt, go down in history as the best crate opening ever. But I'm glad to be back opening crates. And I want to hear your opinion on this because, oh my goodness, Rocket League really want me to come back, don't they? Jeez, we've got we've th one exotic every four crates. That's a 25% drop rate. That's unreal. Uh, but basically, I, I thought about this and I make YouTube videos, obviously. We all know that. But what if I made the YouTube videos the same way I'm recording this now, but every single one was just live on Twitch? Uh, Trying to think of, you know, Pie Face. You must know Pie Face, legend of the FIFA football YouTube scene. All of his YouTube videos are made live on Twitch. And that way, maybe the people that support me and watch me over on Twitch get an early look at the videos, whether it's a gameplay video, a challenge video, a crate opening, a trade up video, you could get that exclusive access first. And then I would upload the video onto YouTube. So YouTube, I'd still have the same exact amount of uploads. It's just it was all previously broadcast live on Twitch. So that way, because obviously I pre-record a lot of videos and when I finally catch up to where I want to be when it comes to videos, by following me on Twitch, you might get to see some videos almost a week early. Which is, you know, I would say that's a pretty cool perk. It's a nice privilege of being able to tune into the live streams and stuff like that. So let me know because I feel like I do definitely want to Twitch stream more. But I always have the excuse of, oh, I've got to prioritize YouTube. I've got to put YouTube first and all that stuff. But if I manage to combine the two, maybe that could work quite well. Because we had a Rocket League stream last night. There were about 150 people just chilling with me while I was playing ranked. And I thought... I could definitely grow my Twitch and make something really cool out of my Twitch. And the, the only way to do that is to be consistent with it in the same way I have been with YouTube. And I haven't been consistent with Twitch. And I think that would be a really cool way to do that. So please, 
by all means, uh, let me know down in the comments. Drop your thoughts down there regarding Twitch and YouTube and everything like that. Because I'd love to hear your feedback. I always welcome the feedback, whether it's constructive criticism, you know, even hate comments. If you really hate me, I mean, it would make sense to just not leave a comment and maybe leave. I totally understand that. There's no need to be a douchebag about it. But yeah, I, I've been on the internet long enough to accept criticism. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll see a comment that's... I, I don't mind negative comments, but if a comment is incorrect for example like if someone hates me for a reason that isn't true i will then set the record straight just tell them that you know they're wrong for example sometimes because you know if they if they dislike me for under false pretenses it's you know natural human instinct to be like hang on a minute this guy doesn't like me that's fair enough but it's not even it's not even true uh so yeah that's the way that is but here we go another exotic i think that's four down two painted two non-painted what i will do i'll do the classic i'll open just the first 50 to give you a little taster session of what we might get in the following 150 if we can duplicate the first 50 in the next three lots of 50 to you know to go after that would be unreal because the first 30 or whatever so far has been very very good so we'll open down to 50 chill in together and then i'll show you the highlights and then we'll do the trade-ups because otherwise i would it would be about probably a 45 minute long video and whilst you might like me a little bit, you probably don't have the time for that. And if you are short for time and you understand English well, you know, because sometimes if it's not your first language, it might be difficult to do this. But if English is your first language, why not chuck the speed on the video to times two? You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't begrudge you doing that, you know, because it speeds things up. You can still understand what I'm saying. You don't miss anything. And then when I get something sick, you can see it a lot quicker. It still gives me the watch time, but it saves you literally you know half the video's length worth of time yourself so feel free to do that that's totally fine anyway we have 10 i think 11 more crates to go until the quarter way mark and then i'll just do best items only typically in the past i would do sometimes some cool painted very rares maybe even the odd cool painted rare if it warranted it imports painted imports exotics and black markets for best items only i'm gonna ignore imports unless it's unreal like maybe a titanium white car even like titanium white boosts painted wheels i'll probably skip titanium white car i'll probably show and also non-painted exotics i'm not going to show anymore i don't think because normally i'd show them in the video because i hype it up to potentially be a painted exotic then it's not so just know during these 150 crates we're going to get painted imports exotics like this for example and i'm just not going to show it okay so the luck might be better than you think i'm just not going to show it i'm only going to show painted exotics and black markets so that way you know you kind of you like what you're watching you only see good stuff and if we get nothing and go to trade ups and it's exciting anyway so yeah massive shout out also to all of you for the well wishes i am not a hundred percent recovered but i'm more or less better today's the day i'm finally at a decent night's sleep for the first time in a couple of weeks and i am going to go play tennis later which is my first proper bit of physical intense activity for like two weeks so i'm glad to be finally over the worst of the illness most definitely so happy about that let's open this final crate and then i'll see you for the the painted exotics and black markets i did say i'd get three after getting that early black market so hopefully we can get two more and i'll see you for the next crate which i assume is going to be you know what i'm going to say black market painted exotic is two percent black market is one percent I'm going to say black market right now. Also, I know I said I'd say a black market right now, but I have started uploading again on my football channel, The Full 90. So if you are interested in football, please go and check that out. I would appreciate it. I really enjoy making the videos over there. And I'm so glad to be making them again. Anyway, now highlight crate. I, there's always something I interrupt the video with, but now it will be a highlight crate. Oh, come on. I told you. I told you it'd be a black market. And it's not long after we started the highlights. I had a funny feeling. Even though black market was not the likely outcome of the next highlight crate, we got one. It's a popcorn. And there's still 139 crates left to go to get that extra black market to give us more black markets than you'd expect from 200 crates, which is two. We've opened 62 crates and we've already got those two. So I think we're going to get another one. I'm feeling a painted exotic coming up next. So I'll, I'll see you there. Oh, this could be it. Ah, oh, okay. I can't show you. See, this is why I show exotics because I get hyped about the potential of it being painted. But yeah, I'll just cut it next time. One of the most underrated wheels in the game, have to say. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I thought that was painted. So what? Why is the color like that? <laughs> oh, I thought it was a painted mainframe, but we actually got a mainframe in a crate. That is sick. 
Oh my days, we got the third black market and it was a mainframe and there's still 83 crates to go. That is absolutely huge. It's not likely to get a mainframe in this crate. It really isn't. It's like over a one in a thousand chance because the black market's one in a hundred and there's over 10 black markets. So one in a thousand chance to get what we just did. That's unreal. 0.1%. Crazy. That is awesome. Sky blue clockworks. Not bad. I'll take it. I will take that 41 more crates to go. All right, so there we go. Not a lot of highlights, to be honest, but we now have the trade-ups to do. I'm going to trade up everything to imports, and then I'll show you the import to exotic to black market trade-ups so we can get maybe some cool painted exotics. And if not, hopefully maybe a painted black market in and amongst the black markets we get. So I'm excited. All right, here we go. We could get some cool painted exotics now. You never know. And if not, we will just go straight to... Oh, there we go. We got a titanium white exotic. To be honest, when it comes to trade-ups to black markets, the white exotics are pretty much the only ones I keep unless there's like a cool painted Draco or something like that. I think that was painted, but genuinely didn't really mind. It was a reverb. There's a painted rage and they're all getting traded up because the chance of a cool painted mainframe is better than a forest green clockwork wheel. But still, the painted chance has been good. A crimson hypnotic. That's decent. I'll keep that if I can. But another painted not as well, I think... Uh, I will trade up the Golden Egg 19 White Endo MG88. I'm sorry. The rest are all drop stuff. So this is it. And it's going to be a painted chrono. So a lot of paint there. And now we have a few black markets to finish. So let's start with the non-painted uh, exotics like this. Golden Gift 20 black market number one. A regular atomizer. All right. That's fine. That is totally fine. Any other non-painteds here? Pretty much no. Uh, so we might get two more black markets out of this, I think. So come on. Hellfire can't be painted. Always turtle certified as well. And it looks like I'll keep the sky blue clockwork. We'll keep the crimson hypnotic and uh, actually trade up the sky blue clockwork to keep the crimson hypnotic. So we have the crimson hypnotics, the white gurnets, crimson killers, white equalizers, white uh, hypnotics there and white chronos. And that's it. So this is the last one of the video. It's not a painted one. Oh, do I trade this up? Golden egg? No, there's golden lanterns in there as well. That is not the one for me. And that is it. Six black markets from 200 crates. That's not bad. I would say it's decent. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like on it. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video very soon.